have your attention, please. Okay, so students, I'm going to thank you in advance for being the great students that you are, and I know you'll be respectful. Um, and good viewers, I want to give a round of applause to the veterans who showed up today to be part of this assembly. Thank you so much. We wouldn't have the freedoms that we have today if it weren't for you. So thank you for showing and thank you for all your hard work. Okay, I'd also like to take the opportunity just to mention that our music program will be over the Memorial Day weekend marching in Washington. Let's give them a round of applause. a chance to hear some great tunes and see their talents in just a little bit but right now I would like to ask you to sing with us the national anthem the flag is right behind us back there our guest speaker today, if you could just rise again, we're going to play taps for the fallen. Okay, today we would like to welcome our guest speaker, Steve Ogle. 
Steve served in the United States Marine Corps for six years. He was a combat veteran from 1967 to 1968. While there, he served as a scout and a Vietnamese interpreter. During his time in Vietnam, the Tet Offensive occurred, in which heavy fighting took place throughout the entire country between American and North Vietnam soldiers and the Viet Cong. When he returned to the United States, Steve served in law enforcement for 33 years and retired as a chief of police in the Bridgewater Township Police Department in Somerset County. He has a degree in criminal justice. He is also a member of the Frenchtown American Legion, Post 113. Please welcome Steve Wilkins. Good afternoon, everyone. I'd like to uh, begin by thanking Mr. Custer for giving me this opportunity to be the guest speaker today, and also for allowing uh, Dr. Tester and I to do a presentation during his last history class. It's always enjoyable. Is everybody ready for the five-day weekend? Yeah. Uh, but I'll try to be brief. A couple of weeks ago, I was talking with my 11-year-old nephew, and I told him about today's ceremony and asked him what he thought I should talk about regarding Memorial Day. And he didn't miss, miss a beat. He said, Memorial Day is a day we don't have to go to school. Well, that kind of subjected him to a 15-minute uh, history lesson. But then later on, I, I thought about that. And he wasn't so far off base. I call it the social evolution of the way we celebrate holidays. As the years go by, we need to be concerned about political correctness. Even legal issues come into play. So it's understandable that not only my nephew, but people think of it as a day off from school. They think of it as a backyard barbecue, a trip to the shore. Memorial Day is held. And it's fitting because actually Memorial Day is a very ancient holiday. It dates back to the 1800s when families of the Civil War would go to the graves of their fallen soldiers and decorate the graves with flowers and wreaths. And as the years went on and the holiday evolved, it became such a community event that it was known as Decoration Day. But as I look at the history of this holiday, something became very glaring to me. And that was the amount of lives we've lost fighting all the different wars that have occurred over the years. Oh, we went from Decoration Day to during the Second World War, Memorial Day in, in 1971, we proclaimed it to be a national holiday. And it evolved in all these different meanings. But 1.1 million people lost their lives as a result of these wars. And almost half of that Almost half of those losses came during the Civil War, when we were fighting with one another. You know, someone once said that war is the end result of failed politics. During World War II, 12% of our nation's population actively participated in our military. In 2016, less than 1% participated. I don't mean to suggest that we're suffering from mass apathy. Technological advances, outsourcing, for example, all add to the diminishment of that figure. But still, the very health of 
this nation, your country, depends on the preservation of our democracy, of our freedom, of the very liberties that we care about. And we can't achieve those liberties, those cherished virtues that we enjoy as Americans without individual commitment to those goals. That, I would think, is the challenge. Salute those who have sacrificed their lives so that you can enjoy these freedoms, these liberties, but understand that you are the future leaders of this country, your country. And as you do that, as you gain that leadership role, it will be you who faces the challenges and the complexities that you see day after day. How do you engage? You get involved. You get involved in your country. You understand the issues. You listen to the opinions of others. You gather facts. You listen to debates, if you can stand that. You, you get some facts anyway. But in this way, knowledge is power. And when you uh, uh, assume that power, when you understand what's going on around you, you are able to make decisions that may one day, in your leadership role, lead to the solving of problems that we have in this country and beyond in a much more civil fashion. And in that way, you truly will have saluted the people who sacrificed their lives so that you can carry on the legacy of this country. God bless you and God bless the United States of America. Have a great summer. Okay, at this time, Mr. Zwarich and the band is going to play a service medley. I'd ask the veterans for the branch of the service that you served in, please stand when your song is played. And if any student or staff member knows anybody serving now or has served, in that particular branch, please stand as well. Mr. Zwarge. United States Marine Corps.
Chegou, tudo bem? This time the band will play the Stars and Stripes, followed by other Patriot songs. Now sing, sing me to heaven.
second song will be about any good news. Ain't good news. in the field and serves as he best can the same cause. So you heard a great speaker today. We heard some great music. We're lucky enough to have some great veterans who came to share with some treats and stories with us today. So don't lose sight of that this weekend with your five day weekend. I understand everybody likes to have fun and go to the beach and the picnics and so forth. Um, like Mr. Oval stated, but let's not forget what the veterans have done for us. Let's give them a round of applause. 